All right, everyone, welcome back. We got an NBA DFS video. My name is Eric Pauzine with 9 to 5 Sports. Going to be breaking down the value plays here for the 10 25 slate here for NBA. Now, a lot of you guys probably know me, some of you guys probably don't. So I am trying to give you guys some more NBA DFS coverage and all the data here and whatnot that you're going to see is going to be available for, you know, PGA and NFL DFS members on 9 to 5 Sports. But if you guys just want this free content, you know, daily, that is something I can do daily. Um, pretty much 9 a.m. in the morning, I can give this content out to you guys. But that's on you guys. You got to like and subscribe, comment your favorite plays, you know, try to get these videos to be some of the top recommended videos. Obviously, I'm pretty passionate about putting out quality content. And, you know, I just want to focus my time on putting out quality content. So if you guys enjoy the quality content here with the NBA DFS picks, then, you know, that's something I can continue to do. So just want to throw that out there. Let's get into the value plays here right now. So I do want to start out with Simmons here. Um, he has just been a great price point play so far this year. Price at 3.6. He's been averaging 22 DK points per game. And he's someone I can pull up on the player profile on 9 to 5 Sports. We can kind of see what the projections are here. You know, 19 for usage percent. Projected to get right around 26 minutes. Obviously, we like that. Projected value of almost 8x. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen. But that's a good sign to tell us that, yeah, he should be able to get around 20 DK points, which should be enough for him to really get that flame. Um, you know, I got him projected to get right around 23 DK points with about an 80% chance to get that 7X. So that is really strong there for uh, Simmons. We can kind of see his game log there. I think he's going to be a strong value option for us on this slate. He's someone you can easily fit into a build where you're trying to do studs and duds. I should remind you guys that, yes, this is NBA DFS. Stuff changes throughout the day. You know, we got to play it by ear as it comes in. Another play that I do like is going to be um, you know, staking with that same game. Nazir Little here, I do like as a play as well. Um, really, the first game, they were, you know, limiting his minutes. So I'm not too worried about the minutes that he received in that first game. And then we saw him come back and really have a bunch of minutes in that last game. So, you know, I think those minutes are going to be, you know, closer to that. I got him projected to get right around 30 minutes. You know, I don't know if that's going to exactly be the case for this one. But the thing is, he should get around 20 minutes and that 3.8. You know, that's a good price point. He is someone that I think, you know, should be a quality option for you guys on the slate. 5X, maybe 6X. He's one of those salary relief plays where if you have to go down that low, I'm perfectly fine with it. A little bit of risk reward here, but for the most part, I'm good with it. Should be a strong play um, for you guys on this one. And then just going a little bit lower as well. Um, another play that I like right now, as it sits, is going to be Josh Yoki. I messed that up. I'm sorry. Um, but, you know, Usage has been there, you know, around 20%. Uh, projected to get 24 minutes, which, you know, not that great, but, you know, not horrible. Um, projected to get 6.x return for value. That's that's good enough. Uh, 17 DK points there. I think, you know, that's really not enough. But so far on the slate, that is something that is intriguing to me. You know, obviously, if we're starting to make our builds right now, that is something that we can start with. As the day goes on, we can make pivots from this, but he's a good place point holder, you know, if we don't get any more value. Because at this price point, he is such a cheap price tag that, you know, right now, as we're making our builds, it works. So we'll put him in that build, and then we'll just try to close it up here. Let me look at my big board here to see, oh yeah, to see who the last player was. Um, this is another one where, you know, probably as the day goes on, we might have to pivot off of it. This is still the morning, but for the most part, you know, looking like a decent option. We can see the minutes there, 26 and 27, or the last two games, that's something that we like. The shot attempts, you know, we want more of that. We definitely want more shot attempts there. Seven in the first game, that was great, but only three in the last game. We need more than that. But the nice thing is that, you know, he's getting rebounds, getting steals, getting assists, getting blocks. You know, he was active in the last game. So that is something that intrigues me a little bit. You know, his minutes should continue to kind of be there as it sits right now. Uh, once again, not an elite value, probably someone that as the day goes on, we'll be able to pivot from, but for now he is a value play that I do like on this slate. And I do want to point out one other value play as well that probably will come up, um, as the day goes on. I don't expect Al Horford to be active in this one, we'll have to wait and see, but if that is the case, then Grant Williams would also be a great value play. You know, we saw 31 minutes in the first game, 31 minutes in the last game. We'll have to wait and see on that. If Al Horford does sit in the, um, in this game in the back-to-back. And yeah, Grant Williams would be kind of a lock and load. He'd be a player that I would pivot to from those other two guys I just mentioned. But that's all I have for you guys this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did, please give me a like and subscribe. If you guys want to comment your favorite value, you know, this is a team effort. If you guys want to comment your favorite value, 
go ahead and do that. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, let's keep captain. All right, see you next time.